For centuries, people have conjectured about what life would be like in other worlds. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most potent telescope ever built, this question can now be answered. Recently, James Webb Space Telescope made the first definitive finding in the atmosphere of a planet outside the solar system. According to NASA, as a result of this finding, we will soon have a fully original and never-before-seen perspective of the universe. What recent findings have the James Webb Space Telescope made? What does it mean and what else is out there? Join us as we explore how James Webb Space Telescope just announced a terrifying new discovery. So far, NASA has made a ton of photographs from this enormous one-of-a-kind telescope known as the James Webb Space Telescope available for viewing, and they are, to put it bluntly, spectacular. Spectacular blue and orange light emanating from stars, galaxies whirling and crawling around one another in a tangle of stars and dust clouds, and some of the earliest light ever produced by the universe, dating back 13 billion years. Although the data thus far appears to be secure, anything can change at any time. After all, NASA hopes that this telescope will be able to observe light from the farthest regions of the universe, which may be as interesting as it is perilous. Also, educators and researchers from all across the world are thrilled with recent NASA results. A recent in-depth inventory of the deepest, coldest ice yet seen in a molecular cloud was just compiled by an international team of astronomers utilizing NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. In addition to simple ices like water, the team was able to recognize frozen forms of a broad range of compounds, including carbonyl sulfide, ammonia and methane, as well as the most basic complex organic molecule, methanol. This is the most thorough inventory of the ice elements that will be used to create future stars and planets before they are heated during star formation. The center of the 630 light-year distance Chameleon 1 black molecular cloud may be seen in this image taken by the telescope's near-infrared camera. The cool, wispy cloud material is illuminated in the infrared by the brilliant light of the youthful, outflowing protostar CED 110 IRS-4. Ices in the cloud can be found using the light from many background stars, which are seen as orange spots behind the cloud and absorb starlight as it travels through them. One of 13 early release science initiatives, James Webb's Ice Age project included this work. These observations are meant to showcase the observing capabilities of James Webb and instruct the astronomical community on how to make the most of its equipment. In order to follow the development of ice from its origin through the formation of icy comets, the Ice Age team has already scheduled additional observations. Only a week prior to this finding, JWST captured images of the interior of a dusty disk encircling a nearby red dwarf star. The known disk has never been seen at these infrared light wavelengths before these discoveries. They also reveal details about the disk's makeup. The AU Microscopy or AU Mike star system is located 32 light years from Earth in the southern constellation Microscopium. Given that planet formation typically lasts fewer than 10 million years and that it is approximately 23 million years old, planet formation has ended. Two planets around the star have been identified by other telescopes. The planetesimals that are still present collided to create the dusty debris disk that is still visible today. This is a more massive version of the solar system's zodiacal light-causing dust. Webb's NearCam was used to investigate AU Mike, using NearCam's coronagraph, which dims the core star's bright light, researchers were able to study the area very close to the star. The researchers were able to follow the disk as closely to the star as five astronomical units, that's 460 million miles, which is comparable to Jupiter's orbit in our solar system, using the NearCam photos. Images were taken by the observing program at wavelengths of 3.56 and 4.44 microns. The fact that the disk was brighter or bluer at shorter wavelengths indicates that it contains a lot of microscopic dust 
that is better at scattering light at shorter wavelengths. The finding is in line with the earlier research that showed that, unlike more massive stars, the radiation pressure from AU Mike is insufficient to eject fine dust from the disk. While locating the disk is important, the team's ultimate objective is to search for big planets with wide orbits, such as Jupiter, Saturn, or the ice giants in our solar system. Using the transit or radial velocity techniques, it is quite challenging to find these worlds near distant stars. In another discovery, a global team of European astronomers using JWST have discovered an asteroid about the size of Rome's Colosseum, measuring between 300 and 650 feet, that's between 100 and 200 meters in length. The object, which is perhaps the smallest discovered by JWST to date, could be an example of an asteroid belt object that is less than 0.6 miles or 1 kilometer long and is situated between Mars and Jupiter. To more accurately describe the nature and characteristics of this entity, more observations are needed. If confirmed as a new asteroid discovery, the discovery of this asteroid, which the team believes to be one of the smallest detected in the main belt and the smallest observed by JWST to date, would have significant implications for our understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system. It is legitimate to question if the JWST will uncover life on any other planets or exoplanets, given the numerous discoveries it makes every day. Humans have mused over whether or not there is life outside of our solar system ever since the birth of civilization. Twenty years ago, there were no known planets outside our solar system, but since then, more than 4,000 extra planets, commonly referred to as exoplanets, have been found orbiting other stars. NASA estimates that there may be trillions of exoplanets in the universe. The earliest indications of life outside our solar system could be found in extraterrestrial plant life. On its way to Jupiter, the Galileo spacecraft turned its instruments back toward Earth and found a blatant indication that there were plants there. The sensor identified the vegetation red edge VRE biosignature as a combination of red and infrared lights reflected by plants. For instance, Earth, which has a rainforest cover, should have a strong and obvious VRE signal. The VRE of far-off Earth-like planets in the habitable zone close to stars will be measured by the JWST. These could be important. Life indicators in the exoplanet environment. The JWST might be able to detect sunlight entering a planet's atmosphere when it passes through the planet's star. The missing light wavelengths would then be found through spectroscopy. The atmosphere's atoms and molecules absorb particular wavelengths, leaving a distinct fingerprint that the JWST can identify. The composition of the atmosphere and the presence or absence of life can be determined using this method. On planets the size of Earth with atmospheres like ours, life is predicted to exist. The best chance for mankind to see city lights outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star four and a quarter light years from the Sun and our nearest star. A planet needs to be 20 times closer to Proxima than Earth is to the Sun in order to support liquid water-based life, because Proxima is around 600 times fainter than the Sun. In August 2016, researchers found a planet with a mass of 1.3 Earth masses in this habitable region. In a habitable zone that resembles Goldilocks and has exactly the proper amount of light to melt water, Proxima b surrounds Proxima Centauri. Proxima b may be an airless, dead planet because it orbits its red dwarf star Proxima Centauri at a distance of only 4.6 million miles. There are 93 million kilometers between the Sun and Earth. Because of its closest orbit, Proxima b is vulnerable to strong solar winds that have the potential to completely obliterate its atmosphere. Moreover, it provides enough sunlight to keep the temperature on Earth similar and the water liquid. Proxima b is predicted to be tidally locked, 
constantly showing the same side to the star as the Moon does to Earth, as a result of its closeness to the star. Proxima Centauri, which is only 5% of the distance between the Sun and Earth, has about one-eighth the mass of the Sun and burns considerably less brightly than one might anticipate for a planet so close to its star. One might anticipate that Proxima Centauri would be a red-hot cinder. Liquid water could easily survive as long as the planet had an atmosphere to trap heat because the total amount of energy reaching Proxima B from the Sun is only 65% of what Earth receives. The best scientists in the world have been baffled by these abnormalities, known as artificial lights. But what are they specifically? Do these lights suggest that intelligent life exists on this planet? These queries have baffled scientists for a long time. According to what we can tell, there should be an abundance of life in the universe. In addition, many of these aliens should possess technology that would allow us to communicate with them or listen in on their radio broadcasts. The sky seems to be lifeless and neither we nor anybody else has heard or seen anything yet. We now have access to completely new astronomical observational technology thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's successful launch. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.